Doctor, I've managed to capture someone, and I think that it might be a good idea for us to figure out what this is all about. I'm afraid, Electro Ninja, that we can't quite do that yet. What? Why? Well, you see, something's wrong with the world. What do you mean? Ever since you defeated Hero Roy, the lab and the surrounding areas have been affected by some weird things. For one, items have been changing all over the place. There was a strange fire in the library that just popped out of nowhere. So many things. In fact, I just received word from Steve that that there's been all of the criminals except for Herobrine and that elf have been have escaped. That doesn't make sense. How have all of them escaped? How is, how have things changed? And why are there stairs now there? Anyways, that, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. I've also received word from Drake. Uh, he's, he was the original owner of this lab. That the that he thinks that he can fix a lot of things, but it's going to require some stuff. He said that it's going to require some sands of time. But he didn't say exactly why. Huh. How do we get sand of time? Well, we have a, one way of getting sand of time, but it's only a limited amount. So we can't use that. Um, but we also have... A portal that will take us to the desert of time. Where's the desert of time? It's a place really far away, but um, I don't exactly know where it is. You all have to talk to Drake about that. So why? Do you think it might be here, Brian? Because we defeat here, Brian. He's since he's here, he's destroying the world. I don't think so. You see, I think that it's something else, but I could be wrong. Hmm. Maybe I should look into it. No. <gasps> Professor Lily? Honey? What are you doing here? I'm afraid that I have some news to tell you. These glitches, they're not happening because of that. The reason that you think they're happening because of a rift of the rift. Rift? What do you mean, rift? It's a long story, and I'll explain it all later. Honey, Impera, please go to your room. I will. I, I'll talk to you in a little bit, okay? But mommy, I haven't seen you in forever. Please, Embra. Listen to your mother, Embra. Okay, Daddy. So, what do you think is the reason for this? Well, it's a future rift. A rift that hasn't happened in our timeline. As you can see, it's only... We're, co we're currently only in March of... 2017. This rift takes place years from now. At the marriage of the writer. Who's the writer? The writer is the one who created the universe. Wait, what? I thought God did. No. You see, God created the writer. But the writer is the one who created this universe. What? What do you mean? Well, the writer is the one who lives in another universe. The true universe. The same universe I am from. Huh? She's from another universe, Electro Ninja. A universe that is the one true universe. In fact, she wasn't even an elf before she came here. 
Oh, that's not helpful. Basically, I am a rift hunter from that universe. What's a... What's a rift hunter? Basically, a rift hunter is someone who travels to the other... To several other universes in order to, in order to stop people from traveling between the universes, in order to save lives and to prevent any catastrophes from happening. Oh, well, that's somewhat helpful. But that's not all that we need to worry about. Anything, a lot of things could have happened besides just those criminals somehow escaping. We don't know exactly what happened because we don't know the timeline anymore. Throughout the universe, every time a future rift opens, the, un the entire universe is changed slightly. Why is it changed? Well, you see, when the rift opens, we, uh, well, we lose a few things. A few things change, and it's mostly because when a rift opens, it, it, I don't completely understand it, honestly, but anyone who came from that universe, uh, from the original universe, isn't changed. But a lot of people are. Huh, I don't completely understand. Let's just say that in this past version, what happened to you to make you become human? Wait, what? Uh, yeah, that's a thing that I can't explain right now. Why are you saying that? Well, in this universe, in this version of the universe, you didn't change. What? But, but I'm human, currently. Yeah, I'm still an elf. I'm still not an elf, I'm, I'm a human. Exactly. You still went there, and you defeated the person that killed you, or that took away your ears. But, in this universe, in this version, you didn't change. He never bit off your ears. But... How? We'll have to look back in time in order to see. We're going to need to use the time traveler. Well, okay. Um, how do we do that? Don't worry about that yet. I'll take care of it. Right now, what you need to do is you need to... Learn some things. Learn some things? About what? Well, uh, I'll send Raven to the, to the barn. She'll show you what you need to know. Raven? But she's the elf. We can't trust her. We can trust her. Believe me, I was able to look through the time. Even in this version of the universe, she was always good. She'll help us. She'll help us. But does that mean that... What about in the other version? Was she going to help us? Yes. I've been able to see through time and see uh, several things. I've actually used the time, my own time before. You have your own. Yes. I created it. With the help of Drake, of course. So you knew Drake before you came here? Yes. There's a lot of things that I knew before. I knew everyone before we came here. That's right. Ambira doesn't know any of this. In fact, she should never know any of this. I'll tell you everything eventually, especially you, Doctor. You deserve to know the truth. Uh, you know you could use my name. I know, but I don't think Collection Ninja is ready to hear it. 
why would I not be ready to hear it? Because it's not a, a name from the rest of the universe. What? It's an Asian name. What? I don't get it. Here in this universe, well, this galaxy, we speak a different language than we speak where we're from. You see, we didn't originally come from Kodaka. What do you mean by that? This is Minecraftia. No, this is Kodakia. What? The name of the galaxy. Oh. Minecraftia is a version of this universe, uh, of this galaxy. In fact, in the normal ver what we're seeing is the real version. What? Not as blocky. More voxelated humans. I don't understand. I'm a Minecraftian, alright? No, you're a Kodakian. It's one of the reasons why you're great at commands. Okay, I'm very confused. We'll explain later. You and the rest of the, your viewers. Okay, what the heck are you talking about? You see, you and your viewers are seeing... Are seeing through your eyes. Where everything looks blocky. Like you're in Minecraftia. But what we see is Kodakia. Okay, I think you're going to have to explain this all eventually. Oh, we will, don't worry. You see, we're from... An we are from another universe. And... Well, another galaxy. I'm from another un... I'm from the original universe. The Doctor is from... Lornon. Where's that? It's a planet in the... On the far... Uh, on the far end of the universe. That doesn't help. Biggest planet in the universe. Still doesn't help. Big enough where if you... Where a castle the size of Earth looks like a normal castle compared to Earth. Uh, still not helping. Double-sided planet. One side light, one side darkness. Lots of change noise. And Walor. And Sulor. And a whole bunch of other creatures. Still not catching on. We'll explain later. The point is that you need to... We'll discuss this... I will discuss... I need to discuss some things with the Doctor about... Well... Where I've been all this time. Specifically since I haven't even been in the same universe since we fell through the void. Wait, what? What? What do you mean you haven't even been in the same universe? I got... In order to save myself... The... The void chain was destroying me. In order to escape, I... I did both of my transportations. You mean you went there? Okay, I'm really lost. Where are you guys... T what are you guys talking about? Just go to the... Just go all the way over to the barn. Raven will explain what you need to do, but me and the doctor need to discuss some things. You're not ready to know the truth, neither are your viewers. Okay, that is very confusing, but if you guys really insist, then fine, I'll go and find this raven, and I'm not trusting her though. That's fine. She has to build trust. She knows this. She just knows that I am the only one who actually knows that she's speaking the truth. That I know what I'm talking about. Okay, please don't hurt each other, though, while I'm gone. That's all I ask. We wouldn't even think of it. We both need to be here for Umbra. Especially since... Since what? There's a war that's about to start. A war? What do you mean? Between the humans of Earth and the rest of the universe. 
What are they stupid? They know they can't face. Them. Even if they had, if even if they had beta, they wouldn't even be able to do anything. They have alpha. Okay, that's stupid. Why would Sting do that? Who are you guys talking about? We'll explain later. The basic thing that you need to know is that you need to go find out about Chocobos. Okay, you could have said that earlier. Bye. So, you're Raven. That's correct. It's a good time that we met, Electro Ninja. Okay, uh, so... <whistles> Professor Lily told me that you were going to teach me about Chocobos. Well, I'm not going to teach you. You're going to teach yourself. Through this door, there's... The three chocobos, team two, and you may begin your training. What door? There's no door here. I can hear the chocobos, but I don't... Well, why don't you just right click and you'll see. Okay, that's awesome. Tame a male and a female chocobo and then put them into the and then put them into a cage so that you can bring them together and eventually form a blue and a green chocobo. All right. All right, so how do we tame these chocobos? Do we sit on them? Okay, apparently we can't do that. Oh, well this is helpful. Chocobo feathers, I'm assuming that she just put them in here for now. Okay, so let's see then, chocobos. All right, let's put, okay, since there's one, two, okay, uh, pretty feathers, pretty feathers, not pretty feathers, let's see, let's put one on you, uh, uh, what do I need, oh, maybe I need these? Okay, um, well, that should be helpful. Uh, let's take up all these. Uh, I'm assuming that I'm going to need all of them. Uh, let's... I'm assuming she wants me to... Plant them. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's grab some of these. Okay, good. We have these now. Okay, that's not many, but I probably need a few of these. I probably need a few of these to breed these guys, to tame these guys. So let's let these grow in the wall. Let's. Oh, so that's how we tame them. Okay. Okay, so I put one saddle on you. Okay, cool. I can ride you. And I can control you. You can't fly very fast. You can't jump very high. So I'm assuming this is where she wanted me to put them. And you can't go in. Dang it. Um. I'm certain that if I break this, I'll be able to get in. I'll fix it later. Okay, so we've got... Male, I think? Yeah, because birds always... Okay, so let's then get you. Okay. Put it on your saddle. And let's see what happens. So put you both in here. Put up the gate so that you guys can't escape. And... What happened? You guys don't... Okay. And we've got a yellow chocobo. Baby chocobo. 
Okay. Well, that's simple enough. Let's get into this and we will see what happens. Okay, so now I have a blue and a green chocobo. That means that I still need to get a white and a black one, I believe, and then I'll be able to get a gold one? I don't know. I'll worry about chocobos later. It's getting late. Well, I've learned about a bit about chocobos. That's good. That means that we can, that we'll be able to eventually, once you've gotten the best chocobo in the world, you'll be able to finally be able to take down, well, our enemy. Our enemy? Well, you see, my leader, the leader of the elves, Dax, he wants to destroy all, all of the species, and he'll do anything to stop him. I believe that Dax wanted to meet with you, though. Okay. Uh. Uh. Oh, okay. Uh. Is that all, or? Yes, I'm afraid so. I believe that you should probably go see Drake, and once you've met with Drake, and it, he'll explain to you what you need to do if you want to go face the. If you want, uh, if you want to go get the sands of time, but I think the doctor and Professor Lily would prefer to talk to you first. Okay, I'll head over there first. So, how are you guys doing? We've managed to figure everything out. That's right. She's explained everything. Where she was. Uh, it's kind of... A long story. One that I think that you all need to hear eventually as well. And Sting will need to hear as well. I know. I haven't told them yet. I don't think that... They need that they can hear, though, what about the outside universe. Uh, okay. I don't know who you got, who or what you guys are talking about most of the time. But I'm assuming that it's important, so. I don't know. It is important. Basically, let me start by explaining that. Well, you, you're something that ties it all together. Me? Why me? Well, you see, the humans don't, it's hard to explain, but I think that Sting will need your help. Okay, uh, why would Sting need my help? Who is Sting? Who's the writer? Who are any of these people that you're talking about? You'll understand soon. She's telling the truth. Electro Ninja. Fine, I'll trust your judgment that she's telling the truth. But I want to know who the heck you guys are talking about. I don't know any of these people that you guys are telling me about. It's probably for the best. If he doesn't know, Doctor. You're probably right. Why are you guys being so secretive? Because it's to keep you and Embrya safe. Why do you need to keep us safe? You sh Yeah, I can understand being worrying about your daughter. But... I mean, I faced some really hard things. You want me to face the Ender Dragon for crying out loud? I don't want you to face it. I just know that you're the one to destroy the Ender Dragon. What? There's a legend that a hero will come named the same name as, a, as an alternate of Sting. 
He shall smite the Ender Dragon and shall free the land for the Endermen. Okay, I'm completely lost. Well, who is Sting and what are alternates? The alternates... You know what, I'm not going to explain it right now. It's way too complicated. But... Maybe eventually you'll learn who all these people are. In fact, I know so. How do you know? Because you're going to be joining Sting. What? Sting is going through a lot of decisions right now. In fact, he's going to be going through a lot more decisions in the coming year. But at the end of the year, he's going to have to make a choice. A choice that I know what he will pick. Because I've seen the future. I've seen what the writer has written. What's he written? That Sting will have to... He's going to find his alternates in order to be able to gain his full power. There are many powers that Sting needs, and that's just one of them. Okay, whatever. I don't know why you guys need me. But I think that I need to process all of this because this is way too confusing. Of course. Take all the time you need. It's probably for the best. Yeah. Speaking of which, how did I come from over there? Uh, you took a different path. You went through the room. Uh, you came out of the treasure rooms. Oh, right. Not the quickest path, but okay. Yeah, there's way too many paths in this place. I was just confused for a second. Alright, well, I'm gonna go upstairs and find the rooms. I'm really tired. Good night. Good luck, Electro Ninja. You really think you need to know yet? Of course I do. He needs to know. Well, so does Sting. And you haven't told him. I know. But Sting is... Sting's the king, after all. He is king of the humans. You only told him a little bit, though, right? You didn't tell him the whole thing. No, I didn't tell him how he will defeat Black Cat. I only told him that he will defeat Black Cat. That's good. He's going to need Electro Ninja eventually, isn't he? Eventually. But what I'm more worried about is when the writer comes. Why? Why would that be important? Because I'm going to be coming with him. What? Why didn't you tell me that? Because... Because I didn't want you to worry yet. If you were freaking out before we brought Electro Ninja back, then things would have gone terribly. I guess I can understand that. So I'm not going to be there. If... I'm in two places at the same time. I won't... I won't be able to help. I understand. How many years were you in there? Five. How long was I... Have I been here? Only a few. You haven't been in the lab for that long. Remember, Electro Ninja came just five days after you died. Please don't remind me about that. That's confusing enough as it is. 
What about the other person? The one Hero Brian brought with him. He didn't bring anyone with him. What are you talking about? Oh no. I thought you knew. I didn't want to tell you or Electro Ninja because I thought you knew and if Electro Ninja knew then things would end badly. Hero Brian is from the alternate realm. From the dark realm. Yeah, a small, a pocket universe. A pocket universe of our galaxy. But remember, for every person in our galaxy, there is, there is a dark one. We don't exist there. No, but Electro Ninja does. Do you think, do you think he'll join Dax? I don't think he'll join Dax. He's too hard-headed. Then, who do you think he will join? I think you know who I think he'll join. That wouldn't be good. He just locked, uh, lost Darkshade. I know. But if Darkshade finds out, then... It's not good. This will... This is gonna be a disaster. Hey guys, Electro Ninja here. Thanks for watching this video. So, I know this video was a lot in story and stuff like that. And you're also probably wondering why I'm wearing this outfit and not another one. Uh, this is my Pokemon Cobalt and Amethyst outfit, created for, obviously, Pokemon Cobalt and Amethyst. I did try to play it, you guys should check it out below, um, but my computer for some reason can't run the command box, which is weird because this is a really beefy computer, so, yeah, I don't know, um, so, yeah, the main reason we decide I decided to do this video is because of a mistake I made where I accidentally burned down the library and I loaded this world in well 1.11 um, so yeah I'm doubt I'm gonna show you guys anything about Cobalt and Amethyst for a while if I do then it, that's great but for now no uh, but yeah thank you all for watching again this video took a lot of time and effort so, uh, yeah, by the way, um, a lot of the story is actually something that you will be able to read in my books once they come out. 